Metro Home Building Center starting gate rolling here for race number seven from Red Shores in Charlottetown tonight. Let's go back upstairs to track announcer Vance Cameron for the race call. Compact field of five on the way to the gate here in the seventh. Good eye, Hawkeye. Ashes to ashes. Pillage and burn. A usurper. Shifting views. Top of the stretch. Now approaching a start. The rough and pacing, pillage and burn, good eye, Hawkeye, the first two out, usurper third to the turn, ashes to ashes fourth, then it'll be shifting views. So they round the turn, approaching the opening eighth, and there goes pillage and burn to take over the lead for David Dowling. Second is good eye, Hawkeye, in the mid-pack, third is usurper. Fourth, ashes to ashes, and trailing the field, that is shifting view. So they race along the back stretch. We won't see much action in here. They're in straight alignment at the quarter, led by Pillage and Burn. Good eye, Hawkeye, set up for the two-hole ride. Usurper around the turn goes third. Ashes to Ashes fourth, trailing fifth, shifting views 29 and two open it up they swing off the turn and straighten down the stretch and they're chasing pillage and burn to the midway point good eye hawkeye along the rail goes second racing third a usurper ashes to ashes fourth shifting views fifth nobody makes a move in the opening half mile and pillage and burn the midway point leader with dowling second that is good eye hawkeye the opening half mile was up in 60 seconds flat they move over to the 5-8. Pillage and Burn leads Good Eye Hawkeye. Usurper third. Ashes to Ashes fourth. Shifting views fifth. Still no one has found a right line. And they're going to three quarters now. Pillage and Burn the leader. Good Eye Hawkeye is there second. Usurper racing third. Ashes to Ashes fourth. Trailing the field. Shifting views three quarters up in on. 29 and 1. 29 and 1 in the third and they turn on home pillage and burn the leader usurper up on the outside up the rail goes good eye hawkeye deep stretch now pillage and burn almost there good eye hawkeye pillage and burn all the way with dowling good eye hawkeye second look like ashes to ashes third one fifty seven and two Okay, here's the slow-mo for race number seven from Red Shores in Charlottetown tonight. And, yeah, we liked him uh, tonight with Dowling on board here. He got to the front, and he pointed him right down the road here tonight. 29 and 2, Pillage and Burn and Dowling are the boss. Good Eye Hawkeye sitting second. Usurper was third at that point. One minute to the half. Pillage and Burn still the boss. They race the backside. 129 and 1. It's still Pillage and Burn, and they're going to decide it here late. David in the middle trying to hang on with Pillage and Burn. Mark coming down the passing lane with Good Eye Hawkeye. Jill is going to arrive on the scene late with ashes to ashes, but no pillage and burn. He got to the front. He fends them off all late. One fifty-seven and two gate to wire score for pillage and burn tonight. Good eye Hawkeye skimming the cones. He's second. Looks like ashes to ashes third. Pillage and burn and Dowling win the seventh at Red Shores. Well, I was very fortunate to meet Mike Arnold in my 
journey to Calgary last month. He said that uh, he was looking for a horse with Mike and Amy, and it looks like they've found themselves a winner with Pillage and Burn in the seventh race winner's circle, Bay Pacing Gelding 11 by Cam Skartrak off the Life Sign Dam, Sky Yankee, owned by Mike Arnold of Olds, Alberta, and Amy Lockie of Montague, trained by Mike Dowling. David Dowling put the veteran pacer on top at every call in 157-2. Pillage and burn in the seventh. 